This video focuses on Catherine Kolkeba's theory of comfort. Catherine Kolkeba is a nurse who introduced comfort theory. Throughout her nursing studies and career, Kathy has attained a PhD in nursing and she continues to teach in nursing colleges. Kathy specializes in gerontology, end of life and long term care interventions, comfort studies, instrument development, nursing theory, and nursing research. Kolkeba developed the comfort theory during the completion of her Master of Science in Nursing. At the time, she was working on a dementia unit. She examined literature from medicine, psychology, nursing, psychiatry, English, and ergonomics, as well as the work of earlier nurse theorists such as Nightingale. She also observed comfort activities in the field and patient outcomes. What came from this research and observation is Kolkeba's middle range theory of comfort. Her theory states that the provision of comfort is imperative in nursing care. Comfort theory also states that the care received should be effective in meeting each patient's comfort needs. Thus, based on comfort theory, nursing care can be defined as performing purposeful assessment of a patient's comfort needs, selecting comfort interventions in response to those needs, evaluating patient level of comfort following the implementation of the comfort measure through visual, alphanumerical, or questionnaire-based tools, and comparing this comfort level to the patient's baseline comfort level using either subjective or objective measures. According to Kolkeba's comfort theory, there are three types of comfort. Relief, which is the patient's state where specific need is met. Ease, which is a state of complete patient contentment and tranquility. And number three is transcendence, which is a state where the patient overcomes pain and or other comfort related issues. In addition to these three types of comfort, there are four domains in which comfort care occurs. Environmental, which relates to external stimuli, such as the patient's surroundings. The environmental domain also pertains to the alterations to one's environment by another individual, such as a nurse or the patient. The second domain is physical, which relates to one's bodily systems, homeostatic mechanisms, and physical sensations. The third domain of comfort care is psychospiritual, which covers intrapersonal attributes such as self awareness, self esteem, sexuality, life meanings, and a belief in a higher being. The last domain is sociocultural, which pertains to interpersonal factors such as family and other social relationships, and religious or cultural practices or traditions. Some examples of measures implemented by nurses that are meant to enhance comfort in one or some of these life domains include providing a patient with a warm blanket, providing therapeutic touch, administering pain medication in response to pa high patient pain levels, providing pillows, helping the patient connect with family or other social supports, tending to the patient's needs in a timely manner, and open and transparent communication with the patient. The following case study done by Krinsky, Murillo, and Johnson utilizes Kolkeba's comfort theory to assess how a specific comfort measure influences the comfort of cardiac patients in their four life domains of environment, physical, psychospiritual, and sociocultural. The study uses Kolkeba's theory of comfort in reference to patients suffering from symptoms pertaining to discomfort from cardiac syndromes. The specific intervention of quiet time is described for its potential use within this population as a comfort measure that addresses Kolkeba's four contexts of comfort. The purpose of the study was twofold, apply comfort theory to nursing care of cardiac patients and evaluate quiet time as a measure using Kolkeba's theory to enhance the comfort experience for cardiac patients in all four contexts of care. 
Using Colcabus theory, researchers provided evidence from the literature to highlight the benefits of the quiet time intervention in a hypothetical situation with a cardiac patient. From a physical context, quiet time can reduce the incidence of serious physical effects such as inadequate sleep. From an environmental context, adjusting medical equipment such as alarms pumps or pulse oximeters to patient-based parameters reduces the incidence of unnecessarily alarming, which further promotes an environment conducive to silence. Psychospiritually, reduced exposure to noise stimuli is associated with reduced patient agitation, anxiety, and an increased restfulness and meditation opportunities. Lastly, socioculturally, quiet time facilitates meaningful conversations between the patient and nurse or the patient and family net members. It also increases opportunities for cultural and religious reflection. Thus, quiet time provides the patient comfort relief, ease, and transcendence in all physical, environmental, psychospiritual, and sociocultural domains of life. In sum, Kolkeba's comfort theory states that nurses offer comfort-based interventions that are specific to the needs of each patient, that deficits in comfort may be in one, some, or all contexts of environmental, physical, psychospiritual, and sociocultural life domains, and in terms of effective provision of comfort, the following steps are taken. One, the patient expresses comfort need, Two, the nurse performs assessment and monitoring. This can be done by observing or examining patient verbal or nonverbal cues, diagnostic or lab results, and social determinants of health. Third, the comfort measure implemented is specific to the individual patient's comfort need. And fourth, the nurse evaluates the comfort measure's efficacy in comforting the patient. Here are a few things to consider regarding patient com comfort. Various factors may influence a patient's perspectives on comfort levels and experiences. Intervening variables, which are phenomena that affect the patient's understanding of total comfort, can influence the patient's perception of comfort levels and experiences. Some examples of intervening variables include age, past experiences, finances, and support systems. The amount and type of comfort interventions needed, as well as the context that comfort interventions and types being provided, are also important factors to consider when discussing patient comfort. Four assumptions and theoretical assertions set the foundation for Kolkheba's comfort theory. They are that the holistic outcome of effective nursing care is comfort, the need for comfort is inherent in every individual and it is part of human nature to look for comfort whenever the need arises. The third assertion states that human beings respond holistically to complex stimuli. And lastly, nurses play a critical role in collecting information to identify patient-specific needs, plan and deliver appropriate comfort interventions, and evaluate patient comfort outcomes to determine the efficacy of comfort measures that were implemented. Comfort theory has many uses and advantages. It sheds light on nurse-provided comfort from a practice perspective. It addresses methods that nurses can use to consistently provide and evaluate comfort measures implemented. It also allows nurses to recognize that each patient has unique perspectives, backgrounds, and care goals. Application of comfort theory in studies allows researchers to become cognizant of methods that promote an environment conducive to healing. Comfort theory can be applied to nursing practice, education, or research, and it is applicable to all health professions, even outside of nursing. This concludes our presentation. Thank you.